Hi, I'm Shannon and welcome to this week's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. So hopefully by now you have watched my five part series of when we went to Walt Disney World recently. It was a short three night vacation. As I mentioned before, it was meant to be a staycation, but with all the changes and Storm Along Bay being closed, we decided to head to the parks. So one of the things I have been asked by friends and family and also just on social media is whether or not should should we go to should we go to Walt Disney World? And that's a hard question to answer. So I'm gonna go through a couple questions and just say these are the things that you need to ask yourself to determine if if going to Walt Disney World at this time is right for you and your family. So first step is what are your personal concerns about COVID-19? And that's really a multifaceted faceted question. And for my family and for my husband and I, we don't fall into any high risk categories. We don't have um, any elderly parents that live with us. And my husband is on the front lines anyway, so he's exposed. And our personal belief is that we're eventually probably going to get COVID-19. I think that's just our belief. We're doing everything we possibly can to not get it. But I think we've all, we've both resolved that we will probably get it ourselves. So with that, we take precautions at home. You know, we, we, we canceled our gym membership, for example. We really, my husband goes to work and then really the only other places we go to are to the grocery store or to run errands. We don't go out to dinner, so we don't do anything like that. So we're definitely trying to avoid getting it, but we also feel like it's an inevitable that we will get it. So we don't have a fear of it. Now, that's gonna, that's everybody has their own belief or their own, I guess, <laughs> thoughts on COVID-19. And it, I think it also, Different, it, it changes if you have family or elderly that live with you or if you're in a high risk category. So that's, I would say, that's what you have to answer. And if you are very fearful of getting it, you have a you know pre, pre-existing condition or you have elderly that live with you or whatever it is, or you just are terrified of getting it because it is there is the unknown and there is the unknown where a perfectly healthy 30 year old can get it and die. And that's what's so scary about this virus. But if you have that where you are just extremely fearful, then I would say don't go because the stress of going would probably outweigh any benefit you are going to get from being in the parks. Now for us, we felt like we're not going to limit ourselves and we are going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to be as extremely as careful as we possibly can, but we watched what Disney was doing. We saw what Universal did and we felt like it was very safe. So I'm going to get into that in a little bit. So that's my first thing is you need to determine what your personal beliefs are and how fearful you are. And are you going to just be anxious the whole time you're there? just trying not to touch anything and, and just be on edge, then you're probably not gonna have a good time. So that's my first thing, is that's what I would first answer for yourself. So if you aren't the anxious type or you are kind of like us where you don't wanna get it, but you kind of feel like you're gonna get it, um, then you have to determine your travel restrictions. We're very fortunate. We are about a three, three and a half hour drive away. So it's not a big deal for us to get in the car and go. We don't have to get in a plane. We don't, we actually, the last two times we've gone, we didn't make any stops. So we purposely were like, okay, everybody go to the bathroom. We're not gonna make any rest stops. And that's what we've done both times we've gone. So, you know, we don't have that concern as far as having to get a rental car or take the Magical Express or even to just take a, a plane. So that helps for us. We also live in Florida, so we don't have to quarantine before or after because we are Floridians. So that is a big thing to consider. You know, there are people in the UK who can't travel. That's not even a question. They can't travel here right now. And then, but if you have, if you live in the tri-state area in New York, you might have to quarantine before and after. Are they making it mandatory? I don't know, I can't answer that for you. 
but there are quarantine restrictions and that's a decision that you guys have to make for yourself. So that's the next thing is what are the travel restrictions? Right now there's a lot of quarantining before and after depending on which state you are. So I would say that's the next question you have to answer. So the next question is, will it be safe? And this is something I feel very confident in is that Disney has taken every single precaution for it to be safe. There's temperature screenings when you get into the parks. There's temperature screenings when you go into table service. I would like them to implement temperature screenings for the resorts like they do at Universal, but I still feel that they have done everything possible for it to be safe. Um, you will see from the time that we were at the Riviera to the time that we went to the parks, we barely took our masks off when we were in this last trip. You just almost can't take it off at any time. We definitely got used to it. We were more used to it. We, we've been wearing masks since beginning of April in our hometown because it's been mandatory since the beginning of April, but it's definitely a stricter policy now with the parks open. So, and it's strict for a reason, because it's strict because too many people find loopholes. So now you can't walk with a, a, you know, if you're holding a drink and you're walking, they add, and you can't take off your mask, they ask you to pull to the side. Now I will say, while we were walking with our stroller, um, I was able to grab, a, grab some water, pull down my mask, take a chug of water, put it back down, and nobody said anything. And I did that, you know, for all three days because I wasn't trying to take advantage, I was just trying to stay hydrated. So I think that the cast members realize that if you're taking, if you're actively taking a, a sip of water or a drink, then, and you pull it down, you pull it back up, that's fine. But if you're just walking around and you take your mask off, that's what they were trying to prevent. I will also say is they allowed my son, you know, if you're a parent, you know, a lot of times you keep your kids content and quiet and happy by giving them snacks. And that also helps you from get to, from point A to point B. So we did that. We had Pirate's Booty. It's you know uh, one of my son's favorite snacks. We would give him Pirate's Booty and walk in the stroller. And again, they didn't make us pull off to the side for him to finish his Pirate's Booty. So that's, I think they kind of realized that. We weren't trying to take advantage. Oops, there's thunder. <laughs> we weren't trying to take advantage of the situation. We were just trying to give our kid a snack so he was, he was um, content. So, but again, they have taken so many precautions. Cast members have face shields. I feel for them because I can't even imagine. I know how hot it is with the mask. I can't even imagine how hot it is with the face shield. But, um, and the, the cleaning, the constant cleaning, the hand sanitizer. You know, we used a lot of hand sanitizer, but we also went and washed our hands anytime we could. So if we saw a restroom, we would just go, and especially if there was a family restroom, we would go into the family restroom and we would all wash our hands. So we were constantly washing our hands. So Disney has taken every precaution they can, but I also think that we as ourselves have to take ownership to be hygienic and to be as careful as possible as well. So, but again, I felt it be it was very safe. I definitely feel it was more safe than my local grocery store. And, you know, I, again, I think that kind of goes back to the first question where if you're anxious about everything, then you might not feel that it's safe. Um, personally, we felt uber safe and, and, you know, never felt safer. Now, the fourth question is kind of interesting because it's, will it still be magical and yes it will still be magical i think for us it's different it's different no question but walking through we had gone magic kingdom was our last stop we went to epcot and then disney's hollywood studios and then to magic kingdom and walking through underneath the train station and getting onto main street we just were like, we're home. And it was it was magical. And to see the castle, especially with the new paint shop, it was fantastic. So yes, it's still magical. We loved the character cavalcades and how they just popped up. So it's, again, it's different, but it is very, very magical. And I think for us, it made us, with everything that's been going on in the world, it made us, it did give us an escape and we appreciated just being there so much more. And the last was not so much a question that you need to ask yourself, but it's just something that you need to determine, but it's something I changed my own tune on. That was several, I guess months or even weeks ago, 
people at, you know, when we were, I was on my BBC Points Live, I was asked, you know, will you go to Disney World? What will it take? And I said, I'm not going to Disney World if they require masks. And I said that for several weeks. And then it came to a point where I think masks are going to be around for a while. And I don't want to not go to Disney World. So I totally changed my tune. So the next is, you know, will you mind going to Disney World in a mask? And for me, I have originally said, absolutely not. We're not going to Disney World in a mask. It's too much money to be uncomfortable. With that said, we just went to Disney World and we had to wear masks. We also don't normally go in July because it's hot. And to be to have to wear a mask in July is just, it's brutal. But it's hot. It's July. It's Florida. It's hot. The masks are annoying, but um, I don't think it made me any hotter. And you did get used to them. My, my husband wore an N95. He has to wear it for work anyway, so he's kind of used to it. Uh, I wore, and I've mentioned this before, the one I found the most comfortable was from The Mask Buddy, or Mask Buddy, and it's themaskbuddy.com. Not sponsored, I bought them myself. I like it because it's flesh tone, so it's not as noticeable. They have a lot of solid colors, but it's very, very comfortable, very breathable. You can put a filter in it if you want. I chose not to, but very comfortable. I actually washed, I had a couple, I, I had two that I would wear throughout the day, and then I would hand wash them at night and hang them up and they would dry by the next day. So highly recommend them. I think they're $6 a piece. And if you buy more than five, you get a percentage off, but fantastic. They also have a mini size and they fit my son perfect. The owners actually have a four-year-old, so they they fit my son perfect. Probably it has a little bit of room so it could go for an older child as well, but they fit him great. They covered his nose. However, once we got him the Mickey one with the Mickey face, that's all he wanted to wear. So um, those, I will say the small was way too small for him. So we got him the medium, which was a little big and it kept falling off of his nose because it was just, it would fall off his nose, but he loved wearing it. In fact, it is now, I'm recording this on a Sunday. We got back on Wednesday and he's still wearing the mask anytime he's home. He's actually tried to wear it to go to summer camp and we've told him no, you because he doesn't have to wear a mask at summer camp. And so we, we bring it and, I wish I need to go, whoever's going to Disney World, I need to get a bunch of the Mickey faced mask in a medium because that's all he wears and I don't think he's ever gonna wear any other mask. But he loved them, so it's not that bad. It's annoying, um, it is what it is. But I think for us, where I, we kept saying, I don't want him to have those memories of Disney World in a mask. And I think I was putting my own prejudices on it, prejudices against a mask, where my son, this is his normal. And as much as I hate it as a parent that this is his normal, it, it, it doesn't bother him. This is his normal, this is what he's going through. He doesn't know any different. And I hate it personally as a parent because I have my wonderful memories of Walt Disney World with my family. I hopefully think that masks, I hope that masks aren't a long-term thing but I don't want to prevent us going to Disney World as a family just because I don't want to wear a mask at Walt Disney World. It wasn't that bad, we got used to it, and hopefully when I look back on these pictures in 10 years, it'd be like, oh, remember that was a time we went to Walt Disney World in a mask. So that's it, so those are the five things that I would say ask yourself, go over with yourself to determine if you should go to Walt Disney World at this time. I say go for it. If you, you know, aren't fearful of the virus and you're not fearful of getting it because you have pre-existing conditions, trust me, I know people who've got it. I don't want to say I'm taking the light, the virus lightly. I know people who have gotten it and it's not fun and it's it's brutal and I I do know someone who did lose their their parent because of it. So, I'm not saying I'm taking it lightly. That said, I also wanna live my life and I also want to experience things. So that's where you have to decide. Um, but as far as Disney taking precautions, everything I feel they are taking all the precautions they, they need. And then also we need to get Disney back. We need to get those cast members. Not all cast members have been recalled. So we want, I wanna get those cast members back because they wanna work. We want, I wanna you know, give them all the money I can because I want, 
I want the magic to return and I I'm so happy to be back I don't know when we're going back we may have a trip in October but if not we might not be back until December and I you know who knows what it's gonna be like in December and hopefully we won't have a re recurrence of the of an outbreak of the virus but with that said I hope you enjoy this video I hope this helps determine if you should go to Walt Disney World with your family. If you like this video, make sure you click like. And the next video, I am going to be talking about the changes in Walt Disney World that we noticed during our trip. With that said, bye everyone.